five things a married woman should never do. Number five, not making your house a home. If your husband has to leave a battlefield, example, the job or his workplace, to come home to a battlefield, that house is not a home. A home is a place of peace, a place of solace, a place to relax for the most part. Always being combative and not easy to work with can create a hostile environment. It's all right to have a disagreement, but when that disagreement turns hostile, it's a problem. Number four, make your decision trump your husband's decision if the two of you can't agree. It shouldn't be that way. If the two of you can't agree, your husband's decision should trump your decision. Oh man, I know there's going to be some women out there in on this one. Now, if the two of you are religious or follow the laws of God and he's trying to get you to do something against God's will or are putting your life or your children's life in danger, you don't ever have to agree with him on the matter. But other than that, for example, let's say the two of you are planning a trip and just can't come to an agreement on the destination. Well, then, your husband's decision will trump yours. Why, you ask? Well, let's look at it like this. When you go to work, there is a hierarchy, right? Your boss is over you. His boss is over him, and so on. So that being said, there is order there. So if you respect your boss's decision, you definitely should respect your husband's. Number three, showing men things that only your husband should see. First of all, let's talk social media. You should not be dressing provocative in front of men on the internet, like Instagram, Facebook, and any other social media platforms. If you have a husband, even if your husband don't object to it, you should not do it out of respect for him. Why? Because you are creating an invitation for other men, which is a point that I'm going to talk about on this list later. Number two, not removing yourself from your husband's company of men friends when they come over. You should not be enjoying your husband men friends more than he does. It's all right to let them in, greet them, maybe even offer some drinks, but after that, remove yourself out of respect for him. Even though they are his friends, they are still the opposite sex, and you don't want to leave any room for errors. There are exceptions. Unless all his friends have their wives with them, then you can hang around in a conversation. Even then, wives should group off into their own space in conversations. Number one, I know y'all was waiting on this one. Creating invitations. For men. How do you create an invitation, you might ask? Well, besides doing number three on this list, flirting is one invitation among others. Enjoying the company of men too much is another invitation. Why? Because it sends the wrong signal to some men. The problem is, you never know what man is taking your enjoyment of his company as interest in him, or 
as a stepping stone for the times you become vulnerable and I assume we all know what that can lead to. Talking about the things you dislike about your husband or complaining to other men about your husband, jokingly or not, is another form of invitation. Having men friends and going out with them without your husband is another invitation. I think you've gotten the gist of this. Should I keep going? And if I missed anything, please feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you disagree about anything that I've said, leave a comment also. And please be respectful. Well, thank you for listening. Until next time, my thought-provoking people.